Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Google Docs. Today we want to outline part of our chapter and we want to do that using a couple of features that we haven't used before because we're talking about trying to be organized and this would help us be more organized and it's going to show up again in several of our future chapters and it might help you in other classes doing other things to make some really broad changes to your entire document. So here we are. Here's our content. We've got these four subheadings in this section on these pages. I've already typed them up. And what I want to do is be able to make big changes and create an outline over here on the side using their text feature. So to start with that, I get to make some choices and decide how I want to format things. So I'm going to start with the title because that's a nice place to start. And I'm gonna go up here where it currently says normal text. This is what it has said all year as we've been using this. And we're gonna see in this drop down we have some other choices. So we've got normal text, which is what it defaults to, title, subtitle, three levels of headings, and then some other options that we can use from there. So I'm gonna select title. And it automatically did this and made the title Arial Black Center and 18, which is absolutely fine. We do typically center titles. Um, Arial Black is a fine font. It's a little bit bigger. It does everything you want a title to do. So I'm going to leave that one just like it is. Now, these four, I want to make not title formatting because that would be silly. They're not titles. I want to make them headings. So I'm going to call these heading one. And what it does to these in its default glory is takes them to Arial Rounded, Centered, and 18. Now, I don't like that. I don't want these centered. All I want on this page is the title centered. So I'm going to move these back over. I don't really want it to be Arial rounded since this is already Arial black. So I'm going to select them and look at my font choices and pick something else. Maybe it's something a little cuter. Maybe it's something with a serif. Maybe it just it, I, anything you want to use with your overall font of things. Now the, the heading, the title here is really nice and bold. So I'm going to pick something that's not as bold, just so it stands out differently. And we'll go with this, because what else are we going to do? You can change it however you want to change it. And now that I've done that, I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to say Update Heading 1 to Match, because I've made my selections. And it's going to remember the font and the size and the alignment. If I changed colors, it would remember that. And then... Anytime I do anything, maybe I left one out, maybe I find something else, maybe the teacher changes the directions and says, hey, add an introduction up here, add a conclusion or put something else. If you do that, it's going to do it as heading one and it'll be in that style. And you'll see it over here in your choices. Notice what else that did. Over here to the side, we have the outline. So if this turned into four pages of information, and we needed to work on revise and edit, but we didn't want to scroll for days. We wanted to jump straight to this. It will take you immediately down to that as you add information and graphics and subheadings and other paragraphs and other information. You've got this outline that will help you jump straight to the part that you wanted to get to. Okay, this is the outlining feature in Google Docs. And we did that by utilizing these features and deciding What's heading one? What's a title? What's a subtitle? What features do we want to use? You define those, update the heading. Anytime you do anything else to it, it's going to make that set of choices. So I hope that's been helpful. Now go outline this section on 273 and 274, and we'll be practicing and using this again later on in the week. But those are the basics. Thanks for watching.